Good morning everyone. I am Tanushri Dalai from Civil Engineering Branch. In the previous class, we studied about the shear force calculation of a cantilever beam which subjected to three different kinds of point loads which you can see in the slide also. So the shear force calculation is over. So now comes to the next calculation which is your bending moment calculation. So in case of bending moment calculation in the point load you know that the formula is force into distance. Okay. So now I told you in the previous class in case of cantilever beam we always calculate from the right side of the section to the left side of the section. That means in this particular case we calculate all the shear force calculation as well as the bending moment calculation from the point A to the point B. Correct? So first of all we calculate the bending moment at point A. So we know that to find out a bending moment of any section, we need to find out two things. First one is your load and next one is your distance. So, see the point A. In the point A, you can see here only one load is there which is 3 kN. And according to point A, the distance is omitted because when we consider only a point then here only load is there but distance is omitted. So that's why we take the distance as 0 for the point A. So now according to the formula we need to put in case of load 3 kN into due to the zero distance we put in the distance place zero and the negative sign is due to because when this kind of load is acting on this beam then it will give a moment like this way okay which is known as a hogging moment so why a hogging moment is at then we take the sign of the moment as negative. So, at point A, the bending moment value will be 0 kN. Okay. So, now comes to the next point which is point C. So, at point C, you need to look at the right side of the section and what are the load are there and how much the distance it will cover up to the point C. So you can see that if we look forward to the point A that means the right side of the point C then we found one load is there which is 3 kN and from the right side of the point to the C it will cover a distance of 2 meter and again due to this load a hogging moment is occurred towards this C point so that your load will be 3 kN and the distance will be 2 meter. So by multiplying this 2 we can got the value of bending moment at point C. So now we just put the value like minus 3 which is the load into 2 which is the distance. So 3 into 2 equal to your minus 6 kN. Okay. So now comes to the next point which is D. So again if you calculate the bending moment about D or at point D then you have to look forward the right side of the section and how many loads are there and the distance between the load 
to the point D, we have to calculate. So first of all, consider the point load at point A and what is the distance between A to D, it will cover. Then we multiply the load into distance to calculate the bending moment at point D. So for 3 kN, it will cover a distance 4 meter. That means this is 2 meter and this is 2 meter. So the total distance from the A to D is 4 meter. So your a formula will be 3 kN multiply by 4 meter. Again you have to add another bending moment formula which is for the point load acting on the C which is again 3 kN and the distance between C and D will be 2 meter. So according to the formula your bending moment calculation should be 3 kN into 2 meter. Okay. So according to point D the load at point A and at point C will give a hogging moment towards the point D. So that's why the bending moment sign should be negative in nature. So you can see at the bending moment at point D the value is 3 into 4 which is due to this load and sign is negative due to hogging moment. Again we have to sum another load which is 3 kN and distance is 2 meter. So by calculating all this thing we can get the value of minus 18 kN meter. Okay. So now come to the last point which is at the fixed end that is point B. So what is the value of bending moment at point B? So again you have to look forward to the right side of the section and how many types of point loads are there and what are the distance of these loads from the B you have to calculate. So now you can see from the B and if we see the right side of the B section then you can get there are three kinds of point loads are there and for the point load at A it will cover the distance which is 5 meter that means from the A to B which is 5 meter then for the point load acting at C it is 3 kN and the distance between C to the B it will cover 3 meter and the last which is the point load at point D which is 2 kN and the distance it will cover from the D to B which is 1 meter. So by multiplying the load with this corresponding length to the B it will give the value of bending moment at point B. So for first of all 3 into 5 which is for the point load at point A then 3 into 3 which is the bending moment from C to B so that we calculate or multiply 3 kN with the distance cover which is 3 meter then 2 into 1 which is the load acting on the D and the distance we cover it is 1 meter. So by calculating all these things we can get the value minus 26 kN meter. The minus sign indicating that all the loads give a hogging moment towards the point B. Okay. So now comes to the bending moment diagram. So you can see all the bending moments are in negative sign. So that if we draw the bending moment diagram, first of all we have to draw a reference line. So this line is your reference line. And all the points that means at point A, C, D and B whatever the bending moment we got that should be drawn at the lower level of the reference line. 
So at point A, we got the value 0. So that we have to put a point here. Then after that, at point C, we got the value 6. So that we have to put a point here. After that, at point D, we got the value 18. So we have to put a point here. And at the last point, which is B, we got the value of bending moment as 26. So we have to put a point here. And after that, we just join these points. And all the points should be merged with the reference line by which you can get the bending moment diagram of the cantilever beam with three kinds of point loads. Okay. So according to this way, your shear force calculation and bending moment calculation of the particular this kind of cantilever beam which is subjected to three different kinds of point loads is over. So in the next class, we discussed about another numerical which is based on the UDL case in cantilever beam. So today this much. Thank you.